we start by adding and subtracting x square from the given expression and so it becomes x raised to the power 4 plus 2x square plus 1 minus x square. Note that the first three terms are equal to x square plus 1 whole square and therefore the given expression can be written as x square plus 1 whole square minus x square which is equal to x square plus 1 plus x multiplied by x square plus 1 minus x which can be rewritten as x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1. Now the roots of the quadratic equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 are minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 1 plus minus i times root 3 upon 2. Therefore, x square plus x plus 1 can be factorized into x minus in brackets minus 1 plus i times root 3 upon 2 multiplied by x minus in brackets minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2. Similarly, the roots of the quadratic equation x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 are 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2 and this is equal to 1 plus minus i times root 3 upon 2. Therefore, x square minus x plus 1 can be factorized into x minus in brackets 1 plus i times root 3 upon 2 multiplied by x minus in brackets 1 minus i root 3 upon 2. Therefore, the given expression x raised to the power 4 plus x square plus 1 which is equal to x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 can be factorized into x minus in brackets minus 1 plus i times root 3 upon 2 multiplied by x minus in brackets minus 1 minus i times root 3 upon 2 multiplied by x minus in brackets 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 multiplied by x minus in brackets 1 minus i times root 3 upon 2. Now if you denote minus 1 plus i times root 3 upon 2 by omega then it follows that minus omega is equal to 1 minus i times root 3 upon 2 the conjugate of omega is equal to minus 1 minus i times root 3 upon 2 and minus of conjugate of omega is equal to 1 plus i times root 3 upon 2. Therefore, the given expression x raised to the power 4 plus x square plus 1 can be expressed as x minus omega multiplied by x minus the conjugate of omega multiplied by x plus the conjugate of omega multiplied by x plus omega and this can be rearranged as x minus omega times x plus omega multiplied by x minus the conjugate of omega multiplied by x plus conjugate of omega where omega is equal to minus 1 plus i times root 3 upon 2 and this is the required answer.